I decided to make an important video. Um, do you have what it takes to become a commercial beekeeper without buying the honeybees? That's the important thing. Going from just a couple hives to becoming a commercial beekeeper with 250 hives in less than five years is very difficult. And let me tell you why. Because you gotta, you're gonna make all the hives yourself. You're not gonna, well, as much as you can. You're not gonna spend a lot of money. You don't want to get in debt doing this. 2017, I spent a lot of money buying Russian queens and packages for those Russian queens. The Russian queens from Jason Foley, Foley's Russian bees were no good, and the packages were no good. They were full of veromites. I basically lost three thousand dollars in one summer. I said never again. So I decided to do it slow on my own with my own bees without spending any money, getting in debt. And here I am with over 165 colonies approximately. And it is September 10th. And I treat with acidic acid. And this here, I went online with acidic acid to vaporizing three times every fifth day and then after that you could do it every seventh day two times and then one time before winter winter treatment after the queen hasn't laid anymore there's no more brood you do a winter treatment to make sure you got all the bromites so with 170 colonies when i started i've lost a few from robbing but anyway i started on september 1st basically the whole month of september Here's four days here, or another day, five days, that I'm not doing a treatment. I have so many bees, I treat in the morning, early in the morning when it's dark, and I do the treatment up until sunrise, and I plug all the hives that I want to do that day, and I treat all of them, and then I let them out around 8 or 9 o'clock. You can't do this during the day. See all these bees on the hives here? You can't go around and treat bees during the day when they're all out. You got to treat them either in the evening or in the morning. But this time of year, it's cooler in the morning. The bees are all in the hive. They're not bearding on the front of the hive. In the evening, a lot of the bees are still bearding on the front of the hive. You'd have to wait until like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning before all the bees get in the hive. So anyway, my whole month of September is basically treatment. And I am an electrical contractor, so... I'm not making any money with honeybees yet because I haven't grown to the point where I can make a lot of money. I have to make money to pay for all this stuff. So I'm, I'm doing electrical jobs. And every time I'm gone in, all day and I come back in the afternoon, things happen. I've lost five colonies from robbers. They, they choose the weak ones. And I've gradually... I've had four swarms and I put in queen excluders, a shim with a screen, and I plugged the upper hole here. So no more swarms for my small colonies. And then the large colonies, I just did this today, a shim with a screen for ventilation, I plugged the upper hole, no queen excluder, the bees go in and out the bottom. This way, if, the more holes you have in your hive, the more the workers or uh, the bees have to keep out the robbers. And they're all busy trying to keep the robbers out. So you want to close up your hive when robbing starts. It usually starts mid-August here to September. I was busy doing electrical work at the end of August and I didn't realize that I was having colonies robbed out. So here we go again. Green on the shim. I haven't plugged these holes yet because there's still a lot of bees in this colony here. But the smaller colonies are all plugged up at the top. Only one little teeny hole. And this one has a queen excluder because it's a small colony. I was here yesterday. I got home 10.30 in the morning. Doing some stuff. And I noticed out here. In a large colony I would have never expected this. I worry about my small colonies, but I don't worry about the larger colonies. This colony here, right around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 1300 hours, 1330, somewhere down the time, it was covered. It was I had two deeps, 
it was covered with bees and they were at the, the seams here so I panicked I got a, some canvas I threw it over the hive to keep any more robbers from getting in it but then I figured oh they get too hot I plugged up the holes before I threw the canvas on so I had a hose nearby and I started spraying the robbers and here's here's what's left of, of the bees that I I sprayed and then I was kind of worried well I'm, what if I'm killing bees in this colony I'm gonna end up making this colony small but anyway when when your hive is covered with robbers all you can do is plug up the holes and wait until evening. So I plugged up the holes, waited till evening, and I decided to uh, wait until the following morning to check see if they had a queen still. They still have a queen, but last evening I took away one deep, downsized the hive. They still had brood, but I couldn't find the queen last evening, so I waited until the morning. And you see the robbers. Anytime you have bees that want to go into a gap in your hive, these are robbers. These right here might be bees from this colony because I just plugged this hole this morning. But if you haven't plugged any holes and you start seeing bees around the side of the hives... Or you see bees floating around. I had bees in my garage yesterday. Those are robbers. So, again, I said, I checked for the queen this morning. Queen's fine. She's still laying. I saved this colony. But if I had not seen this, say I was gone, not here, they would have been, because there was a whole bunch of dead bees in the bottom screen here. They were just engulfed with robbers. And they would have been killed. And then they kill the queen. And then that colony just disintegrates. That's how you lose your colonies from robbers. So you have to be around your colonies. That's why it's nice to have bees around your house. I have too many colonies here. I'm going to start looking for a place to put my colonies that I create. A place that has no commercial bees in the area. Some place I can put my new colonies because I have too many colonies here. Most of these robbers are from the commercial bees in my area, but not all of them. Some of them are probably my bees, and there's just too many bees in this area. They, they choose the weaker colonies, and they attack them, and they destroy them, and then they take out all the honey, and then you lose that colony. So I made 120 colonies this, this summer, and I probably lost five, so I'm probably down to 115. So you really got to work your ass off. Pay attention to what's going on. So do you have what it takes to be a commercial beekeeper or to become a commercial beekeeper without buying honeybees? And it is a full-time, everyday job. Thank you.